bags finally arrived um, a few days ago. Was it a few days ago? Yeah, a few days ago. Guys, I can't contain the excitement. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kat. And for today's video, we are doing another installment in our crystal series. And we are going to be unboxing this package from Crystalline PH. So yeah, I've been trying to like fight the urge to open this box just so that I can unbox it with you guys. I think this might be the biggest and heaviest um, box that I have to date. This box is huge. Well, not really huge, but it's bigger than my face. But yeah, this is a much awaited box because this has been in the making for like a couple months already, I think. I had my crystals consolidated before I shipped everything. So it took a while for this baby to come home, but she is finally here and with lots and lots of goodies inside. So I hope you guys can join me as I unbox this huge, huge box, or heavy actually, heavy box from Crystalline PH. Now you guys might want to grab yourself a drink, a snack, because this might be a long one. The thing with like um, having everything consolidated and having them shipped all at once is sometimes you forget what is actually inside your box. Before I forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and hit the notification bell as well so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Once again, I would like to thank Miss A, um, Janice, and Janelle for this beautiful curation and for the crystals they have been such wonderful people and yeah a big part of my crystal journey I actually sort of don't want to open it but I do want to open it I don't know what I'm feeling right now there's so much energy from just this box alone let us open this exciting package I think, if I'm not mistaken, they used to own a plant shop, which I got a few things from before, prior to coming across them again last year. Okay, so right now, as I am filming, it is already the month of June. And it's very fitting because Crystalline PH is turning six months this month. So yeah, they opened their shop in December 8th of last year, so 2020, December 8th, 2020. It's very fitting too because this is the same month that I got my huge package from them. Might seem like a lot again, but yeah, this is covering about, I would say, four, four or five months. I'm not sure. Also, there is no such thing as Crystal Jail, especially when you attend their lives. You know the last time I got a package from them when they were just starting out? It, was, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. So I'm super happy to be opening a package from them and the packaging definitely changed. They upped their packaging. Ah, oh, this is so nice. And everything is wrapped in paper. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so much stuff in here. Okay, I can see two boxes already. Which one do I open first? I don't know if I should be opening this one first. I want to surprise you guys, but I also want you guys to see what I have here. You guys, I just took out um, these two boxes. So, there are two boxes. And they, there are so much stuff. I actually jumbled most of them. Um, only because, okay, I'm filming right now. Only because I want you guys to see how much stuff are in this baby right now. Okay, first off, we are going to open this one. Oh, okay. So, first on the list of my receipt and first item that we are unboxing, that's so crazy, is Peridot chips. So Peridot is said to increase happiness. It is also a positive energy stone that helps you attract abundance. Also protects against anxiety, nightmares, deception, and gossip. I think I might spread this around the house or actually put some in my bag. This one. So we're done with the first one. Oh, 
Wait a second, did I get this? I don't remember getting a heart. Why is there a heart here? You guys are so nice. I think this is a free, this is a free. This one is an ocean jasper heart. I have a thing for uh, ocean jaspers, so. So, so pretty. Sorry for the change in lighting. It was getting a bit dark. I think it is about to rain. Next, we have a raw um, turquoise specimen or raw turquoise. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so raw, uh, so turquoise is said to protect from negative influences, and it also promotes an optimistic attitude. It helps to become clear about your own purpose in life and it enhances energy flow in the body and the mind. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can because I also do wanna see all of the pieces. Oh my gosh. Next we have a Mexican agate. Ah, oh, you guys, the patterns on this it's almost like it's almost like crazy lace only it has majority is usually oranges reds and whites or grays but this is what this pattern looks like up close and as you can see it has so many nice nice designs or patterns on it swirls it's got very nice patterns on it very nice banding so it's kind of like a rough um sort of rough finish on one side and then the other sides are more or less polished so that is mexican agate next up we have ooh, this is tourmaline and quartz it's a specimen and this is what it looks like as you can see it really is tourmaline in quartz so like I said, it's one of those few crystals that are like the best of both worlds because it has tourmaline, which is a protective stone grounding as well. Um, it also dispels negativity. And we have a quartz or clear quartz. Um, this one is a master healer, known to be a master healer and is known to be an amplifier as well. So this is tourmaline and clear quartz. I love how you can see pieces of it and look at the strands there. Next, we have another addition to my skull collection. This is a black obsidian skull and this one I don't have a tiger's eye um, skull. Such a cutie! So yeah, this is a tiger's eye skull what it looks like up close. This one is a black obsidian. This one is a um, pork stone or what you call a dali jasper. So I don't have, I actually don't have a pork stone um, tower, so this is in addition to my tower, tower collection. This is what it looks like. You guys were not even halfway through the package. <laughs> okay, next up we have a Caribbean calcite DT or double terminated Caribbean calcite. Um, this is what it looks like up close. So pretty, look at the details on this. And I love the color, very soothing. Next we have a black tourmaline sphere. Now I love this for um, putting around the house. Um, as you know, spheres are very good at um, projecting or emitting energies all throughout it does not direct energy in just one place unlike a tower wherein its point is actually where the energy is directed i might put this 
in our near our entryway. Oh, okay. So this one is okay. As you guys know, I don't own any rose quartz. Um, well, I haven't gotten myself any rose quartz. Um, I was actually gifted one um, years ago, but I haven't gotten myself one. And I came across this one. This was like a sort of not really abandoned, but like minor chip on the tip. Uh, but yeah, I just had, this one just really called out to me when it was um, placed by her crystal condo during her one of her lives. So I got this one. I picked this one for myself. This is a rose quartz. It is actually very, very pretty in person. Super pretty. I love the pink in this. So as you guys all know, rose quartz is for um, self-love or love for others. So next up we have, oh, this is, this one is, this one is really pretty. This is a raw stick tight um, specimen. This is what it looks like up close. As you can see, the colors on this is so pretty. It's got purples and greens in this. So I, I haven't really come across stick dye. It's not something that I usually see around. So when she brought this out on the table, and actually without even knowing the um, properties of this stone, I was just really drawn to this one, this one in particular. So I picked this one up. So stick tight inspires compassion and love. It is also a Kundalini awakening stone and it helps one to face their fears. Okay, I, we are actually almost there, I think. We are opening another um, tower. This is a moss agate tower, if I'm not mistaken, moss agate. Right. This is a moss agate tower and this is what it looks like up close. I love how this one kind of looks like the snow on grass. <laughs> so yeah, that, that is um, the moss agate. Hello. <laughs> how are you guys holding up? How has your June month been? Hope it's been going well. Hope everyone's doing well. Okay, so next we have a double terminated um, black obsidian. This is what it looks like up close. And you know, the reason why I love DTs as much as I do love towers and um, my skull carvings and my spheres just of recently is because um, double terminated pieces um, emit and absorb energy. This one is a Sujolite tower. I really love Sujolite. It is great for healing. I love towers that have natural pockets or natural druzies in it. Super adds um, character to a tower. So this is what it looks like up close. And as you can see, this Sujolite tower has a mix of purples and browns on it. Okay, there's a baggie. This one is, wow, this is so pretty. This one is a peacock board. I love it. It looks, it's so metallic-y in color. And the one I got drawn to during that live was this one. It's more of an aqua, bluish um, tinge to it, greens. So this is what it looks like up close. It's also called Bornite. And it is believed to be a stone of joy, appreciation, and acceptance. It is also thought to heal the chakras, stimulate adrenaline, and help the body create and use calcium. So that is peacock ore, or what they call bornite. You guys, you know what? I'm so tempted to open this big one, but I kind of have a feeling I know what it is already. But I want to save that for last because it is a beauty. 
It is a beauty. And for some reason, something's telling me to leave this pack, this one, this specific one for later. I don't know why I have this weird feeling. Okay, so this one is a beauty. And uh, as you guys all know, I am so, so into ocean jaspers. So this is the ocean jasper that I got. And I love, love, love the details on this. It, ha it also has natural pockets. It, it's, it's a stunning piece. It's very unique in my eyes. I love the pattern on this. So it has natural pockets and it also has druzies, like small pockets of druzies on it. So this is what it looks like up close. As you can see the detail on that. Oh, it's so pretty. Very unique. You can see a bit of banding on that as well. And as you all know, um, ocean jasper can be found in Madagascar. Also, I want to remind you guys that when buying crystals or when obtaining crystals, make sure that the crystal shop that you um, get them from um, ethically sources these crystals. Okay, this one is a smoky Lemurian. So as you can see, all of these sides here have what they call um, steps them okay I was drawn to this part over here not sure if you can see it but it's like a little pocket Okay, this one is a moss agate lightning um, carving. So unique, like I spotted the tip of this, just the tip of this during one of her lives and I was like, it's calling out to me. That tip is calling out to me. <laughs> and I love it. It's even prettier in person, you guys. So this is moss agate and it actually has druzies on it and pockets. So this is what it looks like up close. And as you can see, it's got a bit of um, darker greens, lighter greens on it. It kind of looks like an amethyst, but I'll have to double check with her and see what this is. But this is what it looks like up close. It kind of looks like an amethyst root, but I don't recall getting <laughs> getting an amethyst in my box okay we are down to our last one two three three pieces in paper and two boxes this one is a Congo citrine guys this is so pretty Oh, she's gorgeous. So this is what it looks like up close. I'm gonna try to take this out of the container for you guys. And I'll show you a close-up version of what it looks like. So that is what it looks like. That is Congo Citrine. Congo Citrine. So pretty, this little piece. I think it's got a bit of inclusion in it as well. Okay, next we have okay wait let me just open one box one small box and see what is inside you guys I love their packaging okay so which one do you guys think I should open first okay I'll go with the the left one okay Seems a bit lighter than the other one. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, I haven't seen the contents of this box and I'm opening this for the first time. So if I get things um, jumbled up or I don't know what certain pieces are, oops. I'll try to link everything down below. 
Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like. It's a bunch of tumbles and oh, it spots something here. You guys, this is so nice of you. I love it. <laughs> yeah, this is, I had my eye on this for a while and it's so pretty. The shape is very unique. It's totally drawn to it. So this is what it looks like up close. I'm not sure about the um, shape. It might be an icosahedron. I'm not sure. But I shall link it down below. I also got more of these um, selenite or well, satin spar sticks. Um, I was able to get some from them before. First off, we have. Um, Mexican agate tumbles, super pretty in, in such a small uh, in tumble form. This is what they look like. Um, so you can see the banding on this very, very, very unique banding on this. Kind of looks like a crazy lace, but then again, yeah, Mexican agate is more of like the whites, browns, sometimes reds. Next up, we have a African bloodstone um, cube. So this is what it looks like up close. And then next up we have a dragon dragon's blood um, cube as well. And this is what it looks like. Next we have a rose quartz cube. So the thing with tumbles and cubes and small crystals is I love that I can bring them around with me, especially when I'm going out or when I'm having my free my me time. I like to hold them in my hand and just close my eyes and meditate sometimes. Next up, we have a another ocean jasper cube. And like I said, I have a thing for Ocean Jasper. Ocean Jasper, if you guys didn't know, is also known as Orbicular Jasper. And like this one, this one has a lot of orbs on them, like circles, if you can see them up close. Next, we have a sunstone um, tumble. Oh, I love how there's so many flashes on this. It's so pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, that kind of looks like tourmaline. This one kind of looks like it has tourmaline in it. Is it tourmaline? I'm not sure, but it has beautiful flashes. Next, we have a chevron amethyst. So the back side is a bit raw, but the front is polished. And this is what it looks like. So I have um, smoky quartz tumble and a citrine tumble as well. I also have another chevron amethyst tumble. So pretty. So this is what it looks like. This is a blue chalcedony um, tumble. And this is what it looks like up close. Kind of reminds me of blue lace agate. Okay, next, I don't know why, there's this energy with one of the pieces here. As long as it's not a cockroach, I'm good. Oh, oh you guys, this is my... Oh, she is so pretty. This is a... This is an ocean jasper tower, very chunky one at that. Um, perfect tip, perfect point. Okay, so I got drawn to this once again because of its color. So it's got more of like blues and greens. Also got drawn to this because of its natural pockets. As you can see over here and here, as well as here. So the tip is very nice pointed 
and it's got a very unique characteristic with this one because it has like a hole if you can see it it's got a hole <laughs> in the middle and I, the first time I saw it it's so, so weird it kind of reminded me of a birdhouse you know like right there <laughs> sorry I forgot one more tumble this is an appetite tumble and like its name appetites are, are, are also um, said to curb your appetite as well next we have a terahertz bracelet terahertz bracelet it is said to help with circulation it is also an emf protector so there you go terahertz bracelet ah so much energy so much energy in this box you guys you know the moment that i got this box I was telling I was telling them that it kind of had this vibe, you know, like in Jumanji when the box calls out to you. It had that it had that effect on me, so I had to put this like in the um, in the living room so that I don't cheat and open the box before this unboxing. Mm. These are. Most of the palms that I um, got, and I also see my prize. It's a special prize, you guys. I usually don't win in um, live sale games, but I was able to get a prize. <laughs> okay, so this one is a Star Cluster Aragonite, and I love my Aragonites. They're so, so pretty. They remind me of Martians or aliens of that sort, but yeah, I've been collecting these little cute Sputnik babies And this one will go into my collection so pretty so this is what it looks like up close I'm just gonna pick up a random um, palm or a random piece and then I'll just let you guys know what it is this one is a phoenix palm a phoenix palm stone so it's also known as a quantum cuatro because of its properties so it has shatokite it also has malachite, chrysocolla and quartz in it this is what it looks like up close so it's got natural pockets on it Love that. I mean, sometimes there are palm stones that are overly huge and sometimes there are palms that are very, very tiny. But this one fits just right. This one is a Jasper palm stone. What drew me to this was the color and it's just, it's just really pretty. So this is a red Jasper. Um, palm stone. This is what it looks like up close. You can see the detail there. There's whites on it. It's got majority or predominantly or dominantly red. Okay, and then next one we have, I think this is kyanite. I think this is kyanite. So this is green kyanite um, in a palm stone form and she is pretty. I think um, this one looks great under UV light as well. So I don't have one on me right now, but I've seen it on the live and it just took my breath away. So this is green kyanite palm. Oh, sorry, this is a green kyanite palm stone. This is what it looks like up close. See that over there? Beautiful detail on this one. Okay, I'm gonna introduce you to the twins. So this is carnelian with a bit of a hybrid orca kind of vibe going on, orca agate vibe going on. So that is um, fairly rare. Um, 
I don't usually see you don't usually see a mix of carnelian orca agate together but these two babies have a very nice um, orca agate uh, inclusion in it I just love how it has a bit of orca on it like it has like an orca vibe on it but yeah this is what it looks like up close so I got one in a smaller palm and one more one more in a much chunkier palm as well so this is what this itty bitty baby looks like and you can see that hybrid pattern on that and this beauty this one is the chunkier um, bigger version of the carnelian palm stone again with another hybrid <laughs> inclusion in it as well so that kind of looks like orca agate Hello. <laughs> this one she is stunning like if you guys could see this piece in person she has so many rainbows and i don't own Actually, you know what? My first Crackle Quartz or Fire and Ice um, was actually from Crystalline PH. Um, I got a, s a small tumble from them. So that's it. That's basically it. I never got anything else in Crackle Quartz or Fire and Ice. But this beauty, this one is so, so stunning. So many rainbows. So this is what it looks like up close. So this is what it looks like up close. Look at all that inclusion in it. Oh, it's so pretty. So many rainbows. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful piece. And it's a good size as well. It's not tiny. It's a good, good size. Like a very beautiful size. So thank you so much for this prize. I'm so happy. Next, we are going to open the last, okay, so it's empty. The last package here, well, aside from the bigger, this one. So we are gonna be opening this one. I don't know why, but this had a lot of energy in it. What about you guys? Did you feel it through the screen? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are gonna make me cry. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. I shall treasure her forever. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is an agate tower. Such a beautiful piece, this Drewsy Agate Tower. If you guys could see this in person, she is pretty. She was pretty when she was when they were holding her up. And this is what she looks like up close. You see all that Drewsy on that? So pretty. And the banding across it. I have a thing for agates, Delaga. So pretty. So this is the back. So as you can see, it almost went through it because it's a bit see-through the back, but didn't. Oh, you guys! Thank you so so much. This means so much to me. I knew there was something about that last one. Like I was trying to pick up pieces and it, I just wasn't, thing was telling me to open it later. Hmm, guys. Okay, so we're done with the package. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, sorry. There's one more. How could I forget? Okay, I can't get over that Druzy agate tower. <laughs> you guys are awesome. She's actually pretty in person. She is prettier in person. Yes, that is. Wow. This is a this is an ocean jasper flame that I got from Crystalline PH. Oops. And I love how it has a natural pocket on it. 
um, I'm so drawn to stuff like this and um, some like imperfections of crystals because they are still crystals just adding more character to them but yeah this one has wow so it has many pockets super pretty and the pattern on this is very very nice so it's mostly um, greens blue greens and browns and this is what it looks like up close you see over here that is the natural pocket on this baby So you guys, I think that is it. That is actually it. That was a pretty big haul. Um, I hope you guys didn't get bored <laughs> because I know I didn't. I loved each and every piece in this package from Crystalline PH. You guys, my heart is pounding right now. So much energy, good energy, you guys. Janice and Janelle, thank you so much. Miss A, thank you so, so much for all of these pieces. Thank you so much. I can't thank you guys enough for all of the help and such great vibes that I'm getting from you guys and for being such wonderful people. So if you guys have a favorite piece from this unboxing, please let me know in the comments down below. And give love to Crystalline PH. Follow them on Instagram. I will link their handle down below so you guys can give them a follow. Thank you so much for joining me in this unboxing. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and the notification bell as well so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. So you guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.